Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In our today's video, we will talk about the slope of a line. And by the way guys, this video is sponsored by Dexpo Markers. So this one is a dry erase marker wherein, pag binuksan ko siya, this one is a chisel type wherein mas okay siyang gamitin when you are using your whiteboard. So guys, uh, available na rin pala sa kanilang Shopee store and Lazada store yung mismo Expo marker with the magnetic whiteboard eraser. So ano naging purpose nito? Ang purpose nito is that ito, since magnetic ko siya, you can put it here as magi at mas magiging accessible yung mga markers mo while you are using your whiteboard marker. So as you can see, pwede ko siyang ilagay dito and I can get it here whenever I want, I want to use this marker. Okay? So, if you're interested in buying their product like this, I will put yung kanilang Shopee and Lazada store links sa ating description box. So, without further ado, let's do this topic. So, ito na. We will try to calculate the value of slope using this formula. M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. Wherein, for you to use this formula, you need two sets of ordered pairs or two points in a line. Ato dito to. Find the slope of a line using the formula and here are the given. We have here the first ordered pair 19 comma negative 16 negative 7 and negative 15. First thing you need to do in using this formula is that you will label this coordinates by this. Ito this will become your x sub 1, and this is your y sub 1, since ito yung first ordered pair natin. Next, this is your x sub 2 minus y sub 2. And going back with our formula, all we need to do is to substitute all the values here. So we have m is equal to your y sub 2, which is negative 15. You will copy negative 15. Then, minus your y sub 1, which is negative 16. So, I will use a parenthesis to enclose negative 16 over your x sub 2, which is negative 7, minus your x sub 1, which is 19. So, we need to simplify your numerator. We have negative 15 minus negative 16. So, what I need to do here is I will multiply first the signs. We have negative times negative and that will give us the positive so it will become negative 15 plus because negative times negative is positive plus 16 over negative 7 minus 19 is definitely minus 26 as you can see we're not yet done with the numerator your numerator negative 15 plus 16 can be simplified as 1 over negative 26 and to finalize our answer 1 over negative 26 is negative 1 over 26 meaning guys the slope of a line given these two points is equal to negative 1 over 26 so I hope you learned something from item number 1 on how to use the formula then on how to simplify it and get the value of slope. So let's move on with item number two. For number two, what we have here is 1 and negative 19, negative 2 and negative 7. We will label, this is your x sub 1, your y sub 1, this is your x sub 2, and y sub 2. Again, use the formula. You have your m is equal to your y sub 2, which is negative 7, minus your y sub 1, which is negative 19, over your x sub 2, that is negative 2, minus 1. Simplify your numerator. I will multiply first the signs. Negative times negative is positive. So what we have here is m is equal to negative 7 plus 19 over negative 2 minus 1 
is negative 3. So we will copy m is equal to negative 7 plus 19 is definitely equal to 12 over negative 3. So we can simplify this fraction. So what we have here is 4 over negative 3. And to finalize our answer, the value of slope is simply negative 4. So that's it guys. So again, recap lang tayo. Given the formula, if you have two different coordinates, you will label, label it first as y, x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, and y sub 2, and then plug it in or substitute the given values or the values of each variable here, and then all you need to do is to manipulate using the operations on integers like addition and multiplication, subtraction, and then simplify your final answer, and there you have it, yes. You have the slope of a line. So again, guys, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like and subscribe, but hit the rin bell button for you to be updated sa ating latest uploads. Again, it's me, Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye!